critical. Will he be able to keep pace with Sven Skarin early? Because once Meteos gets level five, level seven, level nine, and starts ranking up into map lane, so Meteos Impact's could be getting the red, up. but this gank, Impact, gonna be tough to outplay this. You wouldn't really expect him to be top this at this exact timing, but Impact running out of health, there's a flash knockup, and he can't get over the wall. First blood goes for the Sven Skarin, chomping down on his- Nar is such an aggressive pick. Meteos pathing up, he's gonna get spotted. Hunter has last no flash, can he get away? First hyper, shield coming out, Here three second countdown, knockup is there, and he's got the damage! Top lane counter kill and Hauntzer has no- This one, he doesn't have to go in the river. He can actually gank from above it. He's and got he's him. got a Bjergsen, there's the knockback. The chain of ultimates, there's no chance at all in a mid lane kill. Held down. Bjergsen has, has no rape buff and he's looking. Goes Ooh. for it to land the knockup, flashes to knock him back in though and it's gonna be dangerous. They're trading they close back it. and forth and Svensker and doing what he can to make it all happen. The poison, the heal, Meteo splits into four. Jensen still chased but doesn't have the flash. damage. And Two kills, you assume, coming in for TSM as Meteos will lose his life. Hotzer gets a kill. And the gank backfires there for Meteos. You add up over time. You know, maybe that turns Ew. into five more CS. Maybe he doesn't finish a void. Oh, double lift. Double lift flashes on. Maybe he dies. Knock back around. Arrow's going to land on Biofrost. That should be a kill onto the bard. Ooh. Flashes into the magical journey. Two deep. Meteos chases too deep. He's going to get split up into four. And yeah, that's Meteos getting quartered. Now can the team regroup in time? The teleport to keep the Bloblet alive. It doesn't take damage. Here comes Impact. Meteos jumps over the wall, but into Bjergsen's waiting arms, and another kill comes through. That's going to feel good for TSM, and even more insults. Snipes on a smooth. He was just taking that flash. He wanted the kill and couldn't get it. And you could see that Sneaky was considering following through on that one as well, but decided not to. Hauntzer, though, could have solo kill. Hauntzer does not have the ult. He used to get back in a lane. One more hit, he'll do it, and Impact gets the damage he needs. He'll survive this turret shot, and he's going to recall. Seen some Zacks go runic echoes and use that as... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Impact again, just finding the solo kill. Hauntzer didn't even get to cast the ult, but he had it up, and it didn't happen. Jerk is coming in, though. Well, the hop came in in time and it bounced off of a minion, so Impact has a lot of time to buy. Teleport, it's gonna be close. Can Spencer get the knockup? He He's... Mm, okay. Forced a couple summoners out, but Impact is now in a bad spot. He's gonna get chained down. The kill comes through with the assist. But what is the cost? They send their winner for this fight. TSM have five up here, five v four. C9 cannot choose to defend this one. A root on Meteos. There's a stun out from Bard. Here comes the Hauntzer parallel convergence. Meteos ults. He's running as fast as he can, but split into four one more time. The best across thing I could hope for is the turret trade. They're gonna knock him down. Meteos will lose his life. How much more is gonna happen? If Jensen lands a proper combo on Hauntzer, he could go down and likely go a big fight here. Going for the battle, knock up on a Meteo. Zach has to flash oh, away and a two-man tempered fate. It caught the back line. Here comes the dive. Svenskir finding a little bit. Meteo separates the team, but he's running out of health. Here comes the disintegration rate. Nearly does knock down Svenskir and Ash gets the damage across, but Hauntzer managed to get the trade kill on the jungler. Now he's in the back line. Pops oh. up through the exhaust. Kills off Sneaky and smoothing himself. Running low on HP. He's got to run from this one. No slow is going to land for Jensen. Couple more hits. Do it. Here comes Impact on the side, but gets sniped out. And Bjergsen gets the fourth kill of the fight. Only Jensen survives it. For Jensen to stop this one with no ultimate. He's sticking around and hoping for some poke, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Unlikely. And here comes the chase down. Double Oh, he doesn't have the damage. Snipe's not going to land. Death Fire Touch wears out. Only one level now. And Suddenly there's reinforcements, Impact's running out of health, oh. he's Megan Arbor, doesn't even matter. Svenskeren's there to make it all happen, and the kill comes through for Hauntzer getting revenge on his lane opponent. Never fate hit smoothie, that's gonna be a blended trundle double kill so far for Hauntzer. Smite, not quite gonna land, but turret down. And Arrow's gonna, gonna hit, go and but get the enough. Yes, they catch off double lift, but into the back line they go, a double already for Bjergsen. He just gonna run everybody down, no one's left alive, it's the split of the blobs. And that's gonna be Meteos completing the ace for TSM. 15 to six, right on Cloud9's doorstep. They can end the game, the bear buff is there. The rest timers are so long. And TSM are looking to push for victory in game three. 15 seconds on impact, six on smoothie. No AD carry for TSM. They have the Baron Empowered Minions. They're looking to be one game away from the North American Championship, but it could be close. Looking to close it out in under 30 minutes. A fast one, the fastest of the series. Second Nexus Turret is down. There's not enough respawns in time. TSM gonna take the lead in the series, and they are one game away from their fourth North American Championship. And it feels like TSM is getting their groove back. They played so fast.
last in the regular season with the